بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته How are you my students? I hope that you're happy and healthy and I hope that you're excited and ready for today's lesson which will be uh, listening so I, I hope that you're preparing your notes, your pencils, your pens but before that let's revise our previous lesson the conversation lesson we talked about libraries and I asked you to think about libraries and what can you do there and if you have a library at your school and do you uh, borrow or do they lend you books and return them afterwards and then we talked about modern equipment in your library at school do you have printers copiers uh, computers or maybe other equipment maybe 3d printers I don't know then we talked about the conversation itself between the librarian and Hashem the librarian said can I help you and Hashem was looking for biology books and research documents then we continued on uh, an hour later in the conversation between Ali and Hashem and then Hashem is trying to but he's not sure that he can do it within the deadline so he's pressuring himself to do the research within the deadline. Then we took the asking for, uh, asking for and giving information instructions box. We uh, said that, uh, like example here, could you please tell me where I can or where is the? This is, uh, these are some sentences where you can ask for something. Can you please tell me where I can uh, where I can go to the bathroom, where I can go to the any place, or where is the? Here he said, go to aisle five. Of course, this is an example about the library. Another example here, what exactly are you looking for? If you want to look for specific information, what exactly are you looking for? Information, data, it's a project that I need, etc. And here we talked about asking permission, like here, can I photocopy? When you say, can I, then the verb, you're asking for a permission. Like in your classroom, you say to the teacher, can I go or may I go to the bathroom? And then we took some alternative uh, expressions. You have to sign. When the librarian said to Hashem, you have to sign, it can be replaced by you need to sign. So have to and need are the same. Another example, you mustn't take anything out, can be replaced by, you are not allowed. So mustn't is the equivalent to not allowed, etc. So let's begin today's lesson, which is the listening. And as usual, I want you to prepare a paper and a pencil or a pen to take notes while listening. So listen to the conversation and answer the questions. The first question, what is the relationship between the speakers? So we will hear two speakers and I want you to tell me what's the relationship between the speakers. Are they friends? Are they uh, brothers? Or maybe something else, other? The second question, how do you know? Once you give me the answer, they are friends, they are brothers, maybe teacher and a student, I don't know. I want you to tell me how do you know? I want you to give me, I want you to give me your analysis. How did you figure out the answer? And the third one is listen and practice the conversation in pairs. Of course, we will listen to it uh, more than one time for practice. So this is the conversation between Umar and Imad. And remember, I want you to focus on the relationship bet between them so you can tell me what is the nature of the relationship between Umar and Imad. Let's listen. You'd better have your eyes checked if you don't want to get into serious trouble. Yes, I know. They feel all dry and puffy. Have you been sleeping well? As well as possible. I've been staying up trying to finish my project and spending a lot of time in front of the computer. Do you take breaks? You need to take a break every hour. I'd never get to the end of it that way. Well, you won't have the eyesight you need to get to the end of it if you don't have breaks. Another reason for taking breaks is to prevent damage to your back from endless hours of sitting at your desk. But I'm young. Older people tend to have back problems. You're wrong there. People can cause themselves damage at any age. What has saved you so far is the fact that you work out and do sports. Yes, my parents have said the same thing. So in the end, Imad said, yes, 
my parents have said the same thing. So now we know that Umar is either is not his father. So you see here, Umar is advising, giving advice to Imad regarding his sleeping and how does he study uh, about his uh, back. So uh, all the, uh, the conversation we can see and hear Umar is advising uh, Imad. So what is the relationship between the speakers? What is the relationship between Umar and Imad? Are they friends, brothers, other? So what do you think? Yes, okay. Maybe the first suggestion is friends, but older and younger friend. They are friends, but Umar is older than Imad, so he's giving him some of his wisdom. Umar, the first speaker, must be older because he advises Imad about what he should or shouldn't do and warns him about the consequences. So Umar is advising, is giving advice to Imad. Hence, we thought that they are friends, but Umar is a little bit older than Imad. That's why he's giving the information. The second guess is an instructor-student relationship. Maybe he's a teacher, Umar is a teacher, and Imad is a student, possibly at a university or technical college. Maybe Umar is a doctor or instructor in a college or university, and Imad is a student. So whatever the answer is, we know that Umar is wiser and older than Imad, because Imad said older people get a backache from sit not sitting correctly. So. Let's listen again. Now you know that Umar is older than uh, Imad. Let's listen again and focus on the specific advising information. You'd better have your eyes checked if you don't want to get into serious trouble. Yes, I know. They feel all dry and puffy. Have you been sleeping well? As well as possible. I've been staying up trying to finish my project and spending a lot of time in front of the computer. Do you take breaks? You need to take a break every hour. I'd never get to the end of it that way. Well, you won't have the eyesight you need to get to the end of it if you don't have breaks. Another reason for taking breaks is to prevent damage to your back from endless hours of sitting at your desk. But I'm young. Older people tend to have back problems. You're wrong there. People can cause themselves damage at any age. What has saved you so far is the fact that you work out and do sports. Yes, my parents have said the same thing. So, in the beginning here, we see Umar saying, you'd better have your eyes checked. You'd better. This is a strong advice, maybe as a warning. When someone says to you, you'd better, this is a strong advice, maybe as a warning. He wants to get his eyes checked if you, want, you don't want to get into serious trouble. Umar said the, the, his eyes feel dry and puffy, puffy, a little bit puffed up. So, yes, is he ill? Yes. So Umar asked him, have you been sleeping well? He said, as well as possible. Is this a yes or a no? Have you been sleeping well? He said, as well as possible. Is this a yes or a no? To me, it's a no. He said, because he said, I sleep when it's possible, because he's studying all the time. He said, as well as possible, or as well as I could. So he's, he's telling him that he's studying all the time. That's why, to me, this is a no. He's not sleeping well. Otherwise, his eyes won't be dry and puffy. Also here, we say, Imad, we see Imad saying, but I'm young. Older people tend to get, uh, to have back problems. He said, I'm young. Nothing can happen to me. Of course, we know Imad is mistaken here. Anyone can get, uh, can have problems with their backs if they don't sit correctly. So here's an activity for you. I want you to act out the dialogue and switch roles and practice again. I want you in pairs to act out the dialogue. Once uh, you are Umar and your friend is Imad, then switch roles. You are Imad and your friend is Umar. Act out the dialogue and then switch roles and practice again. Keep practicing until you get the hang of it. Here's the warning and advice box. You'd better. 
you'd better, as I told you before, you'd better is a strong advice, seems like a warning, you'd better get your homework done by Wednesday. When the teacher tells you, you'd better get your homework done by Wednesday. It means that it's better for you, for your grades, to finish the homework before uh, Wednesday or Thursday if you don't want to get into serious trouble. So this is like a warning here. If you don't want to get into serious trouble, you'd better do this, you'd better do that. So you'd better to me is an advice, okay, but sometimes it's a warning, maybe a threat even. You'd better do this. Someone is threatening you, threatening you. So sometimes it's advice, warning, or maybe sometimes it's a threat. You'll do a better job, have a better if you. So this is a conditional if. You'd, you'll have, you'll do a better job, have a better if you. So this, this is conditional. If you do this, you will have a better job or have a better etc. So this is a conditional if. You want, if you don't, you need to or else. You won't succeed, for example, you won't succeed if you don't work hard. So this is also some sort of conditional if. You won't have this, you won't have this if you don't do this. You won't succeed unless you, or you say, if you don't work hard. You need to or else. You need to work hard or else. Or else, it means all of the time, or else means something bad will happen to you. When someone say, or else, it usually means something bad. You need to do this, you need to finish your homework, or else, sometimes it's Sometimes it's like a threat. Finish the homework or something bad will happen to you. So here's an exercise. Find and highlight the expressions in the conversation. Provide your own example. So I told you my example. So the expressions here, you'd better and all of them, we will highlight them in the conversation. So now we will listen to the conversation again and we'll highlight the uh, expressions here, the warning and advice expressions. So this is the conversation here. We will listen to it again and highlight the expressions. So let's listen first. You'd better have your eyes checked if you don't want to get into serious trouble. Yes, I know. They feel all dry and puffy. Have you been sleeping well? As well as possible, I've been staying up trying to finish my project and spending a lot of time in front of the computer. Do you take breaks? You need to take a break every hour. I'd never get to the end of it that way. Well, you won't have the eyesight you need to get to the end of it if you don't have breaks. Another reason for taking breaks is to prevent damage to your back from endless hours of sitting at your desk. But I'm young. Older people tend to have back problems. You're wrong there. People can cause themselves damage at any age. What has saved you so far is the fact that you work out and do sports. Yes, my parents have said the same thing. So in the beginning, you see Umar is saying you, uh, you'd better have your eyes checked if you don't want to get into serious trouble. So is here an expression that we took previously? Is there an expression here that we took previously? Yes, that's correct. You'd better have your eyes checked if you don't want to get into serious trouble. So you'd better, this is like a threat, a warning, uh, of course, but it's here is an advice with, with a little bit of warning. You'd better do this if you don't want to get into serious trouble. Like, for example, you say to your friend, you'd better study hard if you don't want to fail. You'd better eat healthy if you don't want to have uh, um, an unhealthy body, etc. Let's continue. Imad says, yes, I know. They feel all dry and puffy. So Imad is doing this willingly. He said, yes, I know. They're all dry and puffy. Umar said, have you been sleeping well? So he's concerned about Imad. Have you been sleeping well? This is a yes, no question. But Imad didn't th answer yes or no, as I told you previously. He said, as well as possible, as well as possible. 
as well as I can. Possible is the opposite of impossible. So possible is means something that is doable. I can do it. I've been staying up trying to finish my project and spending a lot of time in front of the computer. So that's why another reason that his eyes are dry, not sleeping and staying all night in front of the computer screen. So we now know the reasons for uh, the puffiness and the dryness of his eyes. So Omar is asking him again, do you take breaks? You need to take, uh, to take a break every hour. This is uh, a good advice. Do you take break? Do you take a break when you study? When you study for five, six, uh, four hours, it's necessary to take a break. Uh, of course, Omar here is saying you need to take a break every hour. Every, so every hour you study, take a break, uh, break for 10 minutes, 15 minutes, uh, go walk, uh, maybe drink some tea. So to refresh your mind and your body. Uh, you, uh, do you take breaks? You need take, to take a break every hour. I'd never get into the end of it that way. He said, if I take breaks, if I take breaks, I will never finish. He said, I'd never get to the end of it that way. So is there another expression here? Yes, of course. He said, you need to. You need to take breaks. You need to. You have to. So it's important for you to take breaks. This is uh, another, uh, this is another advice. Here's another advice also, Omar. Well, you won't have the eyesight you need to get to the end of it if you don't have breaks. He said, if you don't have breaks, your eyesight will, uh, will be ruined, will be bad. He said, well, you won't have the eyesight you need, your eyesight, because the, his eyes are now dry and puffy. He said, well, you won't have the eyesight you need to get to the end of it if you don't have breaks. So this is another advice regarding his eyes and taking a rest. Take a rest. Every time you study hard, take breaks and rest. Another reason for taking breaks is to prevent damage to your back from endless hours of sitting at your desk. This is another good advice to take breaks, to walk so you can exercise your body so you don't hurt your back. Whatever uh, seating area you are on, on chair or maybe sitting on the ground, you have to change your, uh, uh, you have to take breaks and go for a walk, maybe, uh, maybe for five minutes. It's good for you. Another reason for taking breaks is to prevent damage to your back from endless hours of sitting at your desk. Of course, endless here is an exaggeration. Endless hours. Of course, he's sitting maybe for two, three, four hours. Imad said, but I'm young. He's being naive here. I'm young. Older people tend to have back problems. He said, I'm young. I don't have back problems, even if I sit for six hours. Omar said, you're wrong there. People can cause themselves damage at any age. Anything can come to you. Any damage can come to you at any age. It's not uh, for specific uh, age. What has saved you so far is the fact that you work uh, that you work out and do sports. This is what has been saving you up till this time, that you work out. He said, yes, my parents have said the same thing. You'd better have... Thank you very much. This is today's lesson. See you next lesson, inshallah. Subhanakallah wa bihamdik. Ashadu ala ala anta astaghfirku wa tubu ilayk. Assalamu alaikum.